Hi there everyone, today we are looking at multiplying by a decimal. All right, so we've done multiplying um, already, and if you haven't done those, please look at, look at the multiplying. Um, but when you're multiplying by a decimal, you can kind of cheat with this one. So you can actually multiply it out of a decimal um, to work to a whole number and then basically go backwards at the end. All right, so there is other ways and tricks around this one. So if I did do 1.2 times 0.05, um, what I can do is I can manipulate the 1.2 and then times the 0 0.05 by times in them the 1.2 by 10 and the 0 0.05 by 100. All right, so if I do that, I'm going to have 12 times 5. All right, um, so I can't just do that. I mean, that's not that. He's kind of cheating. Um, but essentially, it's going to help me with the calculation. So rather than 1.2 times 0 0.05 and worrying about the decimal side of it, times by 10, times by 100, I've got 12 times 5. So that's going to give me 60. All right. But... I did times two of these numbers that I brought together by 10 and 100. So I need to divide it by these two numbers all right, to bring it back down. So I need to divide it by 10 and then divide it by 100 or divide by 1,000. So if we divide it by 10 first and then divide by 100 second, it's going to be 0 0.06. And that actually would be my answer. Okay. So I'm cheating a little bit to make my life a little bit easier. But of course, you can do that um, as long as you make sure to kind of go backwards at the end. All right. If you are dividing by a decimal, however, um, not quite the same way. All right, so when divided by a decimal, you, you can treat the division like a fraction, and you can multiply the numbers by 10, 100,000 to eliminate the decimal from the calculation. So you can manipulate it so, like you would a fraction. So I'll explain what I mean by that. So when I do 20 divided by 0 0.4, if I write that as a fraction, um, essentially it's 20 divided by 0 0.4, well, if I times them both by 10, all right, that is a little bit like a, you would do a, a fraction. As long as you do the same to the top and the bottom, it's okay, isn't it? So that's the same as 200 divided by 4. So if, again, thinking about it like a fraction, if I said to you 200 over 4, that is the same as 20 divided by 0 0.4. So, so in this case, I can manipulate it just like perfectly like that and give my answer as 50. And that's it. I don't need to do anything else with it because this is a little bit like, like you do a fraction. 20 divided by 0 0.4 is the same as 200 divided by 4. It is the same. So there's nothing else I actually need to do. So if I did 6.4 divided by 0 0.8, what if I times them both by 100? That's going to give it rid of the 0 0.08. All right, so times them both by 100, so it's going to give me 640 divided by 8, which is going to give me 80 as an answer. And again, that is absolutely right. So with division, it's a bit more of a cheek. It's a bit trickier in terms of what you can do and not trickier it's a bit cheekier what you can do um but ultimately this is it is like we're thinking of it a little bit like a fraction and manipulating a fraction to an equivalent um where i'm not having to deal with a decimal all right so please do go to mass-school.co.uk link is at the bottom of the page um, to have a bit of practice on those types of questions okay thanks for listening